Hello, Trap Boys out there. Today in this video, I'm just going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my Thursday and Friday. First of all, on Wednesday night, my younger brother got back from being out, and I was watching Pose and watching the last episode of Good Trouble for the series finale of the season, and I love that show. And he asked me something, and all I said was, what? And he literally went nuts at me and was going crazy, saying how I needed to grow the hell up, and was getting like white on my face, being a nut job. I ended up waking my younger sister because I had work the next day, so I had to be up early. Yet I somehow got the blame the next day because my older sister and younger sister were going up and saying that I started it, but I did not start it at all. My younger brother was just being a nut job, and he says what to me all the time. He's literally so rude, so far, and I'm not talking to friends. I haven't talked to him for like ages since and I'm just avoiding him because he's just so annoying and he just does my head in. And yeah, so I ended up what, finishing watching Good Job and went to bed. But I got the last because I was just like, you're so pathetic. You say watch me all the time. I don't know why he was really so psychotic. This is an absolute mourn. And I just, slam, so I did slam the door, which I probably shouldn't have, but he was just so annoying. So I slammed the door. I was just like, just get out of my bedroom because he came into my part of the room because our room. We have to share it with a little divider in the middle. Can't wait till that's all done. And I get the room all to myself. He's always on his own, but still got his when when I'm trying to sleep. He's just so selfish, so inconsiderate, and uh, just talk about double standards. It's alright for him to be rude and say what to me all the time, but when I do it, he goes nuts. Not on. He's just such an idiot. So yeah, the Wi Fi wasn't working on my Kindle for some reason, so I had to watch the stuff off my phone, which turned out to work pretty well. And then. Thursday came around and I got up, got a shower, had some toaster company and was watching some Dark Joe episodes and played on my main freestyle. So my younger brother let his stomach up at the moment so he's enjoying that. My younger brother's at work, my older brother let his stomach up, I see him making step on him, so younger brother's at work and older brother is at the stomach cup, he's enjoying that. And older sister's at her and younger sister's at work. Dad at work, he got back when I was bed and I was doing some illustrating and my younger sister is really enjoying her job and she had her mates over the other day and they went in the pool so that was good we've actually done that and we've got to refill that soon we're going to have to wait because it's been very windy and rainy at the moment and my two mates came over on Wednesday afternoon and my mum got out for food and I finally went came back and saw my daughter and she told me one thing I haven't got in my dollhouse, which is a doll barbecue. There's a pool and barbecue doll set that I, barbecue doll set that I need to try to find on Amazon and try to get that. At the moment I just have a blue felt mat down in my dollhouse that I use as the pool. And yeah, she loves it. I love showing people my dollhouse because they're always so taken aback and there's always so much to see. Me, myself, I'm, I'm always seeing bits and pieces and all that. I think we're we getting that. But yeah, I love it. Uh, my mum's like, no more little dolls. So there's some more sneaking little bits in here and there. And I then had my lunch and I had a sandwich and a cup of tea. I had some cucumber sandwich. And my older sister and younger sister got back from shopping. And my older sister was whining there and saying, I jokingly said, oh, you could take me to shopping next. I said, only if you buy your quarter in trousers. I didn't know what she got against my fashion. My fashion sense is amazing, on fleek, on point, whatever you want to say. I love my fashion sense, it's my own unique style, and I'm not going to change it for anyone or anything. And yeah, I do want to get some damn jean shorts and some more fashion clothes like that, because I do like clothes and stuff, but my mum and dad were going to be taking me just after my birthday. My, my mum hasn't been very well, my dad's been busy with work and looking up after my grandma. So, not next week, but the week after, when my dad finished work for the summer, he's going to be taking me out to a shop with my mum, and we're going to go out for food and stuff. So, yeah, I should be getting some then. And, yeah, I then went onto my Facebook and Instagram and worked on some new designs, did a bit of coding and word searches, and just a bit of music and watched Jaws Clip. And then my grandma and my cousin and my uncle, who's over from Ireland for this week, came over and they're off back home to Ireland tomorrow and my aunt was in Tavistock seeing some of her friends from there and I 
table, some table with my cousins. Then we played out in the garden, and my old brother got back from work, and so did my younger brother, and he'd been to the gym as well. And then we got ice cream, and my older brother, or I think it's my younger brother, ordered to drop ice cream on the floor, and my dog half loved ice cream just as much as we do, so he was enjoying that. Then my cousins, and my grandma, and my uncle went off home, and I hugged them and said goodbye and I won't see them now until they come over next and they've gone back to their grandpa's house and they're going back in tomorrow and they had my grandma's morning cottage pie so I was well jealous about that love grandma's cottage pie and then I went with my old sister and we got ready for touch rugby and then went off to touch rugby and it was really good I defended really well winged a bit but it just filled our drum and I was going too fast and the adrenaline was pumping, I literally couldn't stop. I started to like do a U-turn on my back to my side of the pitch where my team were playing against. And yeah, it was really good. And I started learning how to run backwards to defend a lot better because before I guess I had to keep on like, turning around and running forward. So I'm doing a lot better than I was. And I'm actually going to be playing in a tournament soon as well. It's, it's good, this is the most touch rugby team. So I'm really into that and there's a challenge game around called yeah, Five Year Selfie Challenge so I put a photo of my five year old self and you have to say positive things about it. and then if you can say a positive thing about your younger self you can do it about your older self as well which is a really good message and so I said so my first year of fun school so full of energy still so photogenic which is definitely true and such a pleasure and yeah, I just love to play the but it's always been a bit of a favour. And yeah, then I got back from Touch Rugby, had a shower and got my PJs, went with journal and we had fish and chips with tea so I warmed that up, watched the soap and then I went to bed and was just watching some YouTube videos and it was well. And then I went to bed, got up early, got ready for morning group and I had some toast and cup tea and was listening to a bit of music watched a bit of Bucket Ralph and my mum was asleep, my dad's at work and so was my younger brother and older brother and my older sister dropped me off to mum and beat and she's gone off to her, her mate's house. My younger brother came back for lunch break and but now I did some collage work with mum and group and I love it. They're all so lovely there, thoroughly enjoy it. They always ask me how my mum is and she's doing well so far and so far so good and we had some cups of tea and biscuits and just had a really good time and the weather is doing so doing well at the moment not so good this evening when I'm going to the zoo with my family friends and my siblings so because hopefully it's not too heavy rain and that we get a bit of light rain it's quite windy at the moment and I got back and my younger brother's on his lunch break he's gone back now and my younger sister doesn't have work till 3 o'clock this evening so I don't think she'll be coming to the zoo with us after all, and I tied up the kitchen, showed my mum my cross that I did, and it had a little bit of string on the back so you can hang it up, which I love, and I'll probably put this up in my bedroom. And my dad's back from work and he's got off the bed, and I was throwing the test off for my dog house. For lunch, I just had some tuna sandwiches, and I watched the other soup, and some stuff I've recorded I need to watch, and watch some of my favorite YouTubers, new videos that I have at the moment. And watch the dolls, dolls, and doll stuff videos, and look at dolls, doll house, and make it doll makers and stuff. And I was playing with my own blue top doll, and did some doll stuff and blue top photography. Then I watched some episodes of So Brown Fairy, I love that show. Apparently, I'm the British version of Sheldon Cooper, because I have OCD, but that's the only thing I have in common with him. Other than that, nothing. I wish I was as intelligent as him, but I am not, unfortunately. And then I listened to a bit of Kylie, and I love this extended remix version of one of the songs called Neymar Wayne off the X album, which is my favourite album of hers, and that's my favourite song of hers. And it just gets me so pumped and just makes me feel so happy. I love it so much. And I then watched some old soap stuff, like EastEnders, Amadar and Koi. I'm glad that Warren Holly is leaving as well, but I'm angry that he's leaving, but also happy because he wants to go off and do a new thing, try new roles and stuff. But it's just annoying that they have to make him get 
or hopefully I think he's gonna earn that get him set down for attacking the one that waved his sister when he was defending himself so it wasn't like they're saying and they're trying to make him look like the bad guy which really keeps you off and they're gonna end up making him go on the one. In an ideal world I'd like him to have to go on the one, get proven not guilty and then be able to come back but who knows. I hope they leave it open and they don't end up getting sent down or killed off because Wobble can never be over. My heart is actually breaking for Wobble. Wobble will never be over in my heart. My heart beats Wobble forever. At least we still got Fallon and he's standard. Fallon and Callum loved them. They've come at the great, great time as Wobble fall apart. This new writer is crap, literally. He's just destroying Wobble, which is such a big part of it. I'm just literally just disgusted by it. And I was upset at first, but now I'm just really peed off because they're just trampling all over. I mean, we had this Rob One reunion where it was just gold dust, and now they just, just trampled over and they're just ruining it. I'm a doubt, more like I'm a fail. I am now off to go work on some new parts to my book. I'm really loving that at the moment. I had a bit of a hiatus from writing, but I got back into that, and also I'm going to be doing a bit more illustrations and doing a bit more of my very common page book that I've got and I'm going to go watch some more Doctor episodes and finish off watching the second Rocket Wild Front I started before I went to one group. I hope you guys will have a great week or have a lovely rest of your Friday and a great weekend ahead and I shall see you soon when you like coming very soon. Bye!